Hi, my name is Keith Cooper, No Flight Images, and in this video I'm looking at what to do with prints um, because once again somewhere this morning asked me, I want to sell my prints but I can't seem to sell any. Well, um, had you thought, and this is the answer that people never want to hear when they ask this question, that actually nobody wants your prints. Hmm, sounds a bit off-putting. It's not that bad, really. Um, maybe nobody wants your prints because you haven't got them in front of the right people. Um, or what, there's a whole host of reasons, whether you're, uh, including the obvious one that basically your prints aren't that good and nobody's much interested in them. We'll ignore that one for the moment. We'll, you'll have to work that one out yourself. But really, I was brought about this pile of prints. This is um, just some of the prints I've done in the last year in doing these videos, the reviews, various things. Now, fortuitously, most of the paper I get to test, I'm sent samples. Um, so this has not cost me a vast fortune in making prints, but I'm still wondering what to do with them. I've got this big pile. And some of these prints are rather nice looking prints. Um, they're nice images. You know. What am I going to do with them? Maybe someone wants one. Well, the problem here is that they are such an eclectic mix of prints that I use for samples, for test images and things, that I've genuinely no idea who might want one of these prints. Now, occasionally someone will write to me and they'll say, email me and say, oh, I saw you doing a print on that, uh, on, a, on a video or something like that. I really liked it. It's near where I've been or somewhere I know, you know, could I have a copy of it? And I will, if the print is good enough, one of these ones here, I will happily, you know, send somebody, sell somebody a print. Um, problem is that in general, local sells. Now we've got, that's a glacier in Canada, that's in Wells, that's some distance away in the UK. Uh, that's on the flat bit of Oregon. Uh, this is in Colorado and this one's in Wyoming. And this one's in a um, food shop down the road from where I live. Um, there's no theme. So apart from chance exposure and somebody going, oh, I like that picture, can I buy a copy? Which you know, happens very, very rarely, if you're going to be honest, certainly not enough to run a business by. Um, you've got to decide where it is. Now, I've got lots of videos, a whole collection of videos, business of photography that looks at different aspects of selling prints. And, you know, if you're interested in that, please do have a look at them because they're, they're, a lot of them are not that long. They're just covering specific aspects of why people might want to buy a print, who those people are. And that's the key. When somebody says, nobody wants to buy my prints. Well, the first question I'm going to ask them is not where are you showing these prints and stuff like this? You know, what platform have you got your images on? How are you? you know, I'm going to go, who do you think wants to buy your prints? Who are they aimed at? I've got a collection of stuff here. Now, this, this pile here, and it's about so thick. Um, it's all kinds of stuff. Now, that's before I even go into all of these, which are the profiling charts. Now, the profiling charts I can recycle very nicely because I found that um, young kids love using them for drawings and scribbling or cutting out the bright colours for making stuff and, and whatever. I can readily get rid of old profiling charts much easier than I can these in a way. But, well, I, I'm going to give these away. Anyway. I'm not going to charge anyone for these. But these prints, I've got a few in this part, and this is just because I've gathered it together from the office here to have a bit of a sort out. How do I store prints like this if I've got good prints? Well, the good ones, they go into this. This table here is actually a chart drawer. So it has drawers in it that pull out that are the whole size of this tabletop. So that's big. You can get a1 prints in easily. It take very big prints in this. If they're good prints, I think I really don't want to get rid of this one. It's a really nice print. I want to keep it in good condition. It's not got turned up edges or something like that because I've used it for demonstrating something. Then I will keep the, some of them in this drawer here. I have a drawer in the bottom and I use archival grade, museum grade tissue paper. I've got some a1 sheets of that, um, a pack of that is relatively inexpensive, and I will interleave good quality prints and I'll put them in the drawers here. 
Now you might be tempted to ask what happens to them then, but we'll gloss over that because there, there are quite a lot of prints in the drawers. There are six drawers in this uh, chest here. And I've got another chest like this in, the, in another room, which used to be my dark room, which is you know, a general storage area, paper and things. But anyway, got all this lot here. So some I will keep, yeah. But that's because I think they might be useful. It's not because I'm going to go and try and sell them because um, I haven't got a theme here. Uh, I mentioned recently in a video that you really need to have something that pulls together what you're offering. Um, yes, you need to know who you're going, who wants to buy your prints. It, once you know who, that will give you an idea of where they are. And once you know where they are, you can make sure that there's potentially they get to see your images. But the problem is there is a vast number of images out there. And I get a lot of people who've taken great photos, come to me, I'd like to sell these. And I think, yeah, they're nice pictures. That's a really nice picture. I'm going to be honest, how many ph photographers work have I purchased in the last 10 years? None whatsoever. Do I see that as something that I really should reconsider? No, I don't, because I, you know, um, I don't want to buy pictures to put on the walls. I've got lots of my own. Uh, fortunately, I have someone who will choose which ones are worth putting up on the walls, and that's Karen, my wife, who runs the Northlight business alongside me. And she's quite particular about what pictures she likes, and we'll frame them up and we'll put them in, we'll cycle them out, we'll rotate them. So the ones in the house get, in a way, the ones in the house it's a showcase. Um, yes, come round to visit me and any picture you see on the wall is available for sale. Um, they don't have price stickers on them, but you know, it, it's, a, it's a general thing that somebody comes around and goes, I really like that picture. Um, I'll challenge them as to how much they really like it by asking if they want to buy it. Now, the, the, the difficulty is that a lot of those pictures are big that I've got around the house, are big prints. Now, this is A2, that's A3+, plus, so 13 inch, 19 inch. The one at the back there is printed on 24 inch, so that's even bigger. Um, not a lot of people have space for putting up pictures like that. Uh, you need to make space for it. Uh, more popular would be something like that. That's A3+, plus, A3 as well. Some people, you know, smaller prints will sell as well. Um, you have to think of, think of that if you're putting together a range. Um, but the real thing is that when it comes down to people buying print, people buy pictures because it means something to them. Typically, it means something to them because it's local to them or it's local to somewhere they've visited, they've stayed. So hence, if I lived by the seaside, I'd have lots of uh, seaside pictures and I might even try selling a few because you've got an audience there who's receptive to it. The other chance is just randomly that um, somebody happens to come across this particular shot here taken in uh, Colorado, if I remember rightly, and goes, I know where that is. I really like that picture and they buy it or something. That or the black and white version I've got over there by the printer. Um, in general, I just don't expect people to want to buy my prints. I'm a commercial photographer, so most of my stuff is supplied digitally. I do, um, for my architectural work, I do make prints of that sometimes, but they're almost as an afterthought to the main business, which is supplying the image. So I do actually sell prints, but not that often. So, you know, is that disappointing by saying nobody wants them? Well, I'm, I'm not troubled by the fact that nobody wants my prints. Yes, of course, there are going to be, if I showed these pictures, if I put them in front of a large enough collection of people, people would go, oh, yeah, I'll have that. Now, I don't really want to give them away. Um, so I may have some nominal sum for it, but I could probably sell a few of them. But the sheer amount of effort it would take of carting boxes of prints around looking after them because you don't want to scuff the edges, scratch them and things like that. The sheer effort, it's just not worth it. So I'm afraid that apart from a few here that I'll use for demonstrations and for showing people examples of printing, because I keep a big stock of prints to use when I'm doing uh, specialist teaching print training to show people as examples of what to look for in prints. 
apart from a few of those, most of these, I'm afraid, are just going to be recycled paper. You have to be a bit careful of that because some papers don't recycle properly, but certainly ones, you know, some of these thicker paper-based ones or cotton rag-based papers are recyclable. Um, yeah, it does creep me some way and uh, to say that these are just going to go for scrap when there might be someone that wants them. But the amount of effort to profitably find the people who want them and then to ship them to them, the costs of shipping, there's all stuff like that. So if you are looking to sell your prints, and I say look at some of the other videos I've done which specifically address this, um, prepare to accept the fact that you're not going to get your prints in front of the right audience. Um, there's an old mining adage that if you want to make money in a gold rush, you sell shovels and picks. Um, if you really want to make money, you'll set up a photo sharing site and you'll make it very easy to use for other photographers to come along, upload their images and sell pictures. Of course, they won't actually sell many pictures, but you don't have to tell them that. You just charge them for the service. And if you get enough of them, you can do quite nicely of it. There are loads of sites, which is why when people say to me, oh, what site should I use for selling my pictures? I say, well, if you're going to have one, make sure it's your own because I'm pretty sure most of the big photography sites offering prints for sale make very few sales. Um, now, I hope that's not too much of a downer because in making all of these prints, but a lot of them have been done for the videos and my articles and things as well. Every time I do some printing, my photography gets a little bit better. Doing all these prints hasn't harmed my photography doing prints, getting into printing, even if you're just making a small A4 prints. And I've got some A4 printers coming uh, over the next couple of months to have a look at for smaller, smaller printers. But there's nothing wrong with just printing them just for the enjoyment of it. Put them up on your own walls. Um, just be a bit realistic over it that no matter how good they are, perhaps nobody wants them. Um, so uh, reluctantly, a whole load of these will go off for recycling. Um, it is a bit galling, but um, you, know, you, you, you get used to it. And uh, I say it helps that most of the paper for these large prints here has been sample boxes I've been sent to have a look at and to test. So it's not quite so bad. There's just, you know, just some ink costs there. But have, as I say, have a look at the, other, um, at the other videos in this. If you've got any questions about this, please do ask, because it's people asking questions. And as I say, somebody this morning emailing me saying, well, you know, why are my prints not selling? Um, yeah, fortunately, they were quite nice pictures, so I didn't have to say, mm, well, perhaps nobody likes pictures like that. But yeah, I really do appreciate it. So if you found it interesting, please do subscribe to the channel. That is appreciated. And um, have a look and ask stuff. So thanks for watching. Hope it's helpful.